Hello and welcome to Escali's Engineering PvP Guide for Scatter Bombs. Yes, the last version of this video is way out of date. I should have updated it a long time ago. Um, yes, I have hesitated. I have to admit, and there there have been a couple of snipers who have who have asked me. Not to do this. Um, I, you might be able to gather I'm still hesitant, but... I don't know if it's intended or not, but there is... Okay, let's start. <laughs> scatter bombs. It is, what is scatter bombs? Well, here's the tool tip. You get it at level 56. Now then... Scatter bombs is what we drop when we utilize covered escape. Now, as a reminder, covered escape is this. There we go. It shoots us 18 meters forward, depending on what direction we're facing at the time, you know. That is what uh, covered escape does. Very nice, lovely. Uh, whilst we are traveling across those 18 meters, this skill is going to drop five scatter bombs in a trail behind you. Now, they are going to deal, as you can see there, a tiny bit of damage. If somebody is very low health, you may do some damage and kill them off, you know. We can still do the wall bang thing. Like so, so we can drop all five scatter bombs on the same spot like that. But with so low health, it's not necessarily any point in doing so. Um, not in my view, because it's just the damage these days is so pitiful. It's don't even think about the damage for scatter bombs. That's the thing you want to be. The reason why I'm doing this is for the next bit. Read on. It says, it immobilizes any nearby targets for three seconds. That is very useful for a couple of reasons. Uh, one of which a lot of people might not actually realize, and it's why I have been asked by a couple of people not to do this, but I feel as if it should be out there. Um... Because it, it does help. And... The reason why I'm hesitant... The scatter bombs, as we know... Um, they... they tr this change happens in a patch. And in the very next patch... They brought in... Where if you have full resolve... You cannot be booted in place. Any booting, like leg shots, if you do leg shots on someone with full resolve, it will turn into a slow for the same duration, a 50% slow. Scatter bombs ignores resolve. If you have got a target at full resolve and you use cover uh, 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 and you use covered escape. It is still going to root them in place, even if they have full resolve. Okay, let that sink into you for a second. Now, I have got no idea whether it is intended. I've got no idea whether um, it is a bug. Um, Bioware have never turned around and said whether it is or not. Uh, myself and a few other people did write on the PTS forums at the time. Um, why did you give us this immobilization effect on Covered Escape and in the very next patch bring in this full resolve? Because it completely negates a lot of benefits we get for the very thing they gave us. Don't forget... Um, the damage before the patch um, enabled us to all together um, have maybe 5k damage done on someone if we get all five targets on. You know, we can get some some good damage on, on the person. 
So we lost the damage and we got this root effect instead. And then they brought in the patch. Full, full resolve. So because it was raised on the PTS forum at the time, that, you know, why are you doing this? I would like to think that this is intended, but I can't guarantee it. Okay, it is. Um, I did send a couple of private messages and I never got any answer back whether it was intended or not. So, one of these days we're going to learn. But until they turn around and say it is not intended, it needs to be fixed. I believe this should be out there. So, in in essence, it's the main reason why I'm doing this little update. Scatter bombs, the immobilization effect for three seconds works whether the target has full resolve or not. That's the main bit of what what I want to say in this in this little vid in this little guide. Now, the other part of it is, in one respect, how to get the best out of that that rooting effect. You can use it to help kite. Um, if someone is is if a bit of melee is coming towards you like this and whether you've got your entrench up or not regardless you know you can just kind of root them in place uh, it is you don't have to use leg shots if they are too close for your comforts and you don't want to use leg shots and then move away you know you can just use leg shots uh, covered escape and do the same job essentially so it has got a very good defensive benefits of it. But you can also use it for good effect. Um, say, for example, um, you're trying to take um, one of the bunkers in the Valley Coast or a pylon. And all the enemies are quickly dashing up. And you know, if you don't stop them, they're going to uh, uh, um, get there in time. Your cover pulse is on cooldown and you're not going to be able to get it uh, uh, in time you know well you can roll through them all and if they're all within the the, the, um, the area they're all going to be rooted for three seconds they're going to it's going to, to slow them down if they are going over the fire pit in hutball for example or the acid pit again you can use that covered escape to root them for three seconds um if they use a skill, uh, a purge or whatever, you know, um, <laughs> an escape, you can use leg shots to actually keep them there. Of course, roots do not build resolve. So, you know, it's, you can help them to help those situations, but you can also help kind of if you have a healer which is um, being targeted or... Not just a healer, um, a guildmate, a groupmate, a teammate, a friend, whatever. You can use that over them to kind of... To help out. Alright? Um, so, that's it. I haven't got any particular clips to show you because I think what I've explained here... I think is pretty much self-explanatory. Self so... I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to ask you to take care, keep sniping, have fun, and I'll see you again. <laughs> see ya.